wrap up today with a tribute to one of our delegates and planning committee members who died suddenly over the past week. Sorry, it's with great sadness that we heard about our passing of our beloved Dan Paul. Dan was a micro license holder from NASCIFS. He was one of our first members, attended all of our planning meetings through 2019 to help plan this event that's taking place today. In addition of being a great cannabis farmer, Dan was a leader in his community. He was so active in many causes and with many local nonprofit organizations. But more than cannabis farming, which he was sacrificed a lot for, Dan loved his family. Our hearts go out to them for their loss today. Dan and his wife, Anne Marie, were supposed to be here today with us. We are lesser for their absence. I'd like everyone to take one moment of silence to honor Dan's passing. So in honor of Dan's passing and in light of his commitment to our community, the BC Craft Farmers Co-op has offered to donate $1,000 to the Nascus High School to assist students seeking in careers of agriculture. I wanna thank the board in making this decision. I would like to now ask Dan's closest friend and partner in crime and fellow farmer, Gary Krempel, to say a few words about Dan. We appreciate you being here today, and I'd like to recognize Dan's son-in-law, Brad, for being here with us today. And with Dan in our hearts, I'm going to adjourn the day of the day two of the day and invite you to gather here tomorrow at 8.30. In the meantime, let's dedicate today, 420, to Dan. And thank you so much for being here. Yeah. <laughs> Partner in crime. <laughs> we can't have Dan, we get you. So uh, I'd like to say thank you for uh, honoring Dan this way. I know it means a lot to Anne-Marie and the whole family. Um, I only met Dan a year ago uh, through this uh, thing we call licensing. Um, I got involved with the Community Futures in Nelson, and um, one of the women there said, uh, you should meet Dan Paul, you guys think a lot alike. And um, to me it was funny, because I'm like from uh, I don't know, you could say hippie background or alternative lifestyle. And then Dan, he's a retired logger. So we could have met under different circumstances easily. But uh, as it was, it, the cannabis brought us together. And, um, and I mean, me, like the, the regulation part is the hard part. To, to navigate that, to understand it. I'm a farmer. And then Dan, he wanted to learn how to make a clone and grow a plant. Like to, to him, he's been doing forms forever in logging. And um, so somehow we were like an unlikely good fit. <laughs> and so we, we helped each other the whole season from, I supplied him with genetics and taught him how to clone and he was all interested in regenerative farming. I make compost teas and that. And he came over, wanted to learn how. I show him my, my tea house. <laughs> we, we also, we're both uh, put down alcohol. We both agreed on that. We, we really enjoy the cannabis together. So um, we, we just had a, a very easy, fluid friendship. Um, 
around this plant. And then come harvest time, he came over to my farm and helped me harvest. And then I went up to his place and helped him harvest. So none of that was like a, a money thing. We didn't get in, involved like that. Like we just became friends because it's hard enough, like trying to navigate this uh, Uh, what do you call it? Compliance. It's pretty challenging. Like, so uh, I know he really wanted to be here, and um, like all what uh, Roxanne was saying this morning about us uniting and getting together. I know that's uh, that's the same page Dan is on. So um, to me, this uh, unity, what this conference is bringing, is. Uh, it was a beautiful thing, and um, and and just to honor the plant too, that the uh, the medicine of the plant is doing this. So uh, thank you all, and uh, I know Dan wants us to be happy and and celebrate his life.